In this next video, I want to tell you about an experience I'd been dreaming about for around 10 years, and that's to visit a private gastronomic society in Spain. So stick around. Hey there, Ralph Velasco of the Continental Drifter, where I share simple but powerful tips designed to make your travels easier and your photography even better. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Know that everything I talk about will be linked in the description below. All right, let's do this. Remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel. Something that had been high on my list of things to do in this life was to visit a private gastronomic society in Spain. Over the years, I've heard about and seen videos of these places, and I simply had to experience this amazing tradition. Not too long ago, I was working on the details of an upcoming scouting trip with my friend and local tour operator in Spain, Ramon, and I told him of this. And true to his word, he set up the most amazing five-hour visit and lunch at La Becada in Logroño. Logroño is the capital of the province of La Rioja and a city of about 150,000 inhabitants that's home to what is considered by many to be the best food street in all of Spain. I'll be doing future videos on Calle Laurel, but it's worth noting that this part of Spain is known for some of the most beautiful and the biggest produce you'll ever see, and the nearby Mercado de San Blas is definitely worth a visit. Now, this isn't something open to the public. You have to have an inn, but Ramon is very well connected and made it happen for me. So here's what happened that day. Andres and Ramon have really outdone themselves today. They're taking me back to La Rioja for something that, for me, has been a dream for more than 10 years. Located in the town of Logroño is a gastronomic society known as La Becada. These places are invitation only. But the guys have a friend named Francisco who is a member and he's invited us to join him. We begin our adventure with a tour of the magnificent building that the society owns. This man was uh, born here. They has discovered an element and uh, was an strategic mineral in the Second World War. He, Spain produced this mineral and the German and the Allies are fighting for get the mineral from Spain because they are used to make the iron harder in the tanks. And here you can see two kinds of members. Members and old members. We have a rule that when you get 65 years old, you can retire. The secret of the life of the society is new blood. It must be people using it. Here we have the more exclusive wines. Yeah. This is the hardware. Oh my god. You can come here and with the things that you can find here. So you take whatever ingredients you need. Yes, or and we, at the end at the end we put in a list and we pay for it. During the tour, we stumble upon two of Francisco's friends and fellow society members getting ready to welcome a group of their own for lunch. And true to etiquette, they invite us to stay. Out of respect and curiosity, I want to sample everything they offer, keeping in mind that we still have our own meal waiting upstairs. If you want, we don't want that. <laughs> if you want, you say, I can eat with you. I'm sure they can sit down with us. They are the problem. Beautiful. Fantastic. The beach is uh, beach, wine and sugar. 
And you can eat the pieces and then you drink the wine and beer. <laughs> Outstanding. Man, can these guys cook. But after an obligatory photo or two, I bid my new friends farewell. And Francisco takes us upstairs to prepare our own meal. I've been grazing all day, and I'm not sure I have any room left. But now it's time to enjoy the wonderful meal Francisco has prepared for us from his heart. I can't disappoint, so here we go. Well, here, well, we have here morcillas. Morcilla is a, we can call black sausage made of mainly of blood. You can find morcilla in whole Spain and different in each little village. Yeah. They each have a little twist. Yes. And I, I have I have bring two types. This is the most famous. This is the morcilla of Burgos. Morcilla de Burgos is rice. <laughs> onion, and blood. And this is the very typical from here, from Logroño. The all, we only eat here in Logroño. This is sweet morcilla. It has blood, bread, and different things, and cinnamon. And when, 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 when I was a child, uh, my mother put in my in a, in a plate, and I add sugar. The children's likes with sugar, really. I prepare you a little pieces of morcilla, and if you don't like it, don't eat it, but try, try to test it. You will be surprised. I always oh. say I'll try anything twice. Twice? I, I, don't trust, <laughs> I don't trust first impressions. So I am game for anything that you yes. put on the plate. So chorizo, this is a, a fresh chorizo. It's, it's not dry. The chorizo that you can eat usually is this this chorizo, but dry. Right. Right. And I think the better thing in the for today is the tomato. We will eat it very simple way, just with salt and olive oil. Very nice flavor. Smell the cinnamon. I love adventure, especially of the gastronomic kind. This one stop turned out to be five hours long, and I had a chance to try some foods I've never had before, something I'm always game for. La Bacada certainly lived up to my expectations and beyond. Don Francisco, I can't thank you enough for having me here. This has been a dream for me for maybe 10 years to come to a gastronomic society here in northern oh, Spain. Yeah. And you've made it happen. I can't thank you enough. Um, thank you. This you. is fantastic. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we, it's now 5.30, and we've been here since 1 o'clock. And we just are having our coffee, and this is one of the best meals of my life. Bueno, this is your home. You can return when you want. We are open and over always for you. And this is your home. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Question of the day. Have you ever been to Logroño in La Rioja? Have you ever been to a private gastronomic society in Spain? Is this something that would even interest you? Go ahead and put your answers in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and do let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more similar ones and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to look around the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss an episode. Next, head on over to the continentaldrifter.co website for more interesting travel and photography tips and to get my latest download. Finally, join our community over on the Continental Drifter Facebook page. And remember, drifters, life's too short not to travel.